This is a film study sidebar. It's not about studying your opponent or your potential opponent for the event coming up. It's about looking at the fighter that you're responsible for, for training in charge of. You want to pay attention to some of the same things that you would be looking for in an opponent, but here I'm paying attention to the focus of my trainee. How long can he engage on a single task? Because that is very important in terms of the fight because if he can't focus on what's right there in front of him for very long, even when he's winning, sometimes he will start making it up in his head, tell himself a different story, get a little curious as to why the punches are landing, but the guy doesn't seem to be impacted by it. So you want to make sure that your trainee is 100% completely focused. And so it's very important that you do record some training sessions. It's not important that you record every training session or else you become, you know, a bit blinded by the activity. You want to work it like snapshots. You want to do, say maybe once a week, twice a week, unless you're working on something very specific where you need more data. But if you've been working with an athlete for quite a while, you should know certain tendencies. Now, when I don't know an athlete, I tend to record a lot more for the short period of time that we may be working together so I can pick up on more details. But for the most part, what I'm paying attention to is their ability to follow instructions. That's very important. Their ability to remain engaged in any activity. So in other words, I give them a task and it doesn't matter what the task is. Pass the guard, punches and kicks, learn this drill. I am paying attention to them and how they respond. Now, when I'm in the gym, a lot of the times that I'm doing the work with them, I have to set the camera up and then I go back and watch it because if I'm in the video, obviously I wasn't watching it at the time. And sometimes I'll have someone record for me and sometimes I'll have other coaches give me feedback before I go do the video study so they can give me their opinions. I try not to let anything influence me, but at the same time, their thoughts are welcomed. I am Coach Sess, and you've had words with the mad coach.